Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk and uh, today I'm going to bring you the second card um, using this stamp. Um, last time we done this one, um, they're very similar but different at the same time. So we've got the detail in this one and if you want to see how to do this, check out my other video. Pop that to one side. So today we're doing this one, which is one of my one layered wonders. Um, it's just really quick and easy very few things you need okay so there's only one stamp um actually you do in this card so it's very quick and simple i've got my craft white and i'm going to take the ink pad to the stamp this is a new one which i've probably not inked up as well as i could have done we'll see how it comes out I'll just tidy that Right, um, be careful with this if you are using white and black just because transference of ink is really simple. I got a bit of white on there earlier, but I managed to get it off because it hadn't dried quite yet. So I've got to try and make sure that I don't wiggle it or kind of move it in any way because with white on black, it will notice. I'm just going to hold it here for a sec and not move it. Okay, so it's come out a little bit blotchy. Let me chair and sit down. So this is where I came in with my blender pen just to tidy up a little bit. But I found that my white, your whites might be a bit better, but it might be um, my inking. So I'm going to use a blender pen. Sorry if my head gets in shot. And I'm just gonna gonna just fine up these lines, add a bit more white, just to the words. Because I want the words to pop out. I'm not fussed about the flowers if they're not quite as sharp. As the words. So I'm probably going to speed this up, so see you in a sec.
Okay, so I've highlighted my white uh, letters to make it a little clearer. So now I'm gonna come in with my Wink of Stella and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go over the white bits of the flowers. I'm just gonna try and get my sparkles into the black bits. I don't want it to run or smudge. This is just to highlight the petals. If you want to, you can come in again and again. Um, I'm just going to highlight the ends of the leaves with my Wink of Stella. I'm just trying to get that sharp part of the leaf there. Don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but I will. Bring it up. I think I've got them on. Oh, no. Thought I did. There we go. So you can just see where I've highlighted in the light just the ends of the flat the uh, leaves and then just the black bit of the flower. I think that looks rather pretty, rather sparkly. So um, I've just used a couple of embellishments obviously um, to give it something a little bit more. So I'm just going to use a bit of baker's twine. You can use ribbon if you want or not. It's up to you. Spin it right. I've got some double sided tape on my scissors and I need to clear it off because it keeps on wrecking everything I cut. So I'm just going to tie a little bow. So you can make these ends as long or as short as you want. Tile it to you. So that bit down. If you want to, you can use a glue dot to hold it in place, but I'm not going to bother. Trim that off. You can fiddle with it a bit longer. And then I've used four of the be the um, pearl gems. Just in these corners. Now you could use some of the other embellishments we have. The gems. Or some glittery things entirely up to you. What I love about this card is it is really simple to make. That looks really pretty. Um, like I said, I did get manage to get a bit of white because where I was leaning, I got it on my wrist. Nightmare I am. So be a bit careful as you're doing that. Um, for this one, I've just, with my blender pen, gone in and like highlighted one side of each letter. If you can see, just to kind of give it a bit of dimension. Um, if you wanted, you can layer this so you could have a black base. 
a white underneath and then a black piece on top so lay it up um, but it's entirely up to you but this is today's one layered wonder um, and like I said I've not used many things so it's it's quite a, a good card to make for a starting if you're starting out and you could use any colours you could use white and you could use knight of navy and do the same thing that we've done here um, possibilities so many so I hope you've liked this card today so this has been Kelly from Crafty Kelly's at www.craftykelly.co.uk have a great day now. Bye.